A Santa Fe man is accused of using a lawnmower to launch rocks at three people, including a child. The victim says he was dropping his daughter and ex-wife at her roommate's home when he turned on them. New tonight, our Brittany Jeffers spoke with the man who was arrested. And Brittany, we understand he told you that's not the whole story. Yeah, Bill, that's correct. Johnny Manning, in fact, was booked here at the jail on several different charges, including intentional bodily injury to a child as well as criminal mischief. But I did get the chance to speak with him earlier tonight, and he does tell me that he does feel guilty about hurting the little girl, but he claims that the family didn't have any business being on his property. Go ahead. Come on, do it again. Do it again. Moments before this, Angela Bennett and Chris Fontenot say they were caught in a cloud of gravel. Some coming straight down the driveway, and he just did like a donut and just sprayed us with, I mean, it, it felt like bullets, but it was gravel. He was moving because he was shooting them rocks like crazy. At the wheel, 72-year-old Johnny Manning. The couple is separated, and Angela was staying with Manning. They said that when Fontenot dropped them off on Saturday, something flipped. I wasn't on his property. I wasn't doing anything to interrogate him, to make him mad or anything. So no idea why he came at you like that? Nope. The gravel punctured the tires, shattered windows, but also hit skin. And it came through here. That rock hit Fontenot in the chest, and others pelted Angela and her nine-year-old. Right, right across the bridge of her nose. But he's old enough to know better, you know? The man on the mower claims he asked them to leave. Manning was arrested and bonded out of Santa Fe jail. My name is Brittany Jeffers. I work for Channel 2. When I asked him, Manning said he'd kicked Angela Bennett out three weeks ago. They instigated them. it by coming here. So they had no I've business done. here. They don't live here. He claims the couple called him names. And that's whenever I must put a few rocks on him. What I felt it bad about, I really didn't think <coughs> the little girl was standing there. And his wife was standing there, and I should have waited till they got back in the car. And the family does tell me that all of their injuries were minor, but it's a different story for their vehicle. They do tell me that it's going to cost them several thousand dollars to repair their SUV. Live here tonight in Santa Fe, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.